take an array with the numbers and characters and separate number and character in different arrays. So write the code for this. Okay, uh, so I have to separate characters and numbers into different arrays. Okay, uh, so okay, so I will so I will tell you the process first, and then I will code it. Uh, so I will create two different blank arrays. Uh, then what I will do is I will go for each element. Uh, with the help of for each, what I can do is I will check the type of element whether it is a string or not. If it is a string, then I will put it into a character array and then if not, then I will put it into a numbers array. So, okay. Suppose when makes a funny D D two and where numbers equals to one okay equals first so now mm -hmm. what which Numbers so of characters x for each element if a type of Element string else so I will put it into characters list -ish. and Characters, numbers, and now let's check element. Numbers uh, Yeah, done with the code Okay uh, Can you uh, Okay, write an example for function carrying Okay, so Function carrying, okay, then uh, So basically I will do the fun uh, Do the sum of two numbers okay so let me take three numbers and i will do function and then a return function b Function C console A plus B plus C. Okay, function name. Okay. 
Yep. Okay. What is debouncing? Debouncing, uh, what it does, uh, it is a function which helps us with two parameters. One is a function and other is a timer. So, uh, what happens, uh, in short, what we can see, it is a technique or a strategy which helps us to improve the performance by controlling the time. So that after a certain interval of time, that function must get executed. So that is nothing but a debouncing. Uh, can we explain the scope in uh, JavaScript? Uh, there are certain types of scopes which includes like local scope, uh, local scope, function scope, global scope. So these are the scopes. So it determines the accessibility of the variables or functions or objects. So in short, it determines the accessibility. What do you mean by keyframes in CSS? Uh, the keyframes in CSS, uh, what it helps, it helps us to uh, perform the animations with the help of CSS keyframes. So it gives us the control over the animation which we want to perform. Uh, for example, if we want to move it, uh, move image from one part of the screen to another part of screen gradually. So this is one of the kind of example with the help of CSS keyframes we can do. In short, it is used to perform animations. Okay. Uh, a difference between virtual DOM and real DOM. The difference between real DOM and virtual DOM is like virtual DOM. It is a copy of the real DOM. What it will happen is suppose uh, take a certain situation uh, in real DOM and virtual DOM. So uh, suppose a, a line of code is changed in number of lines of code so what it ha it will happen in virtual dom is uh, it will re-render only that ch change line of code instead of each and every line of code whereas in real dom it will re-render each and every line of code so it will take lot of time in real dom as compared to virtual dom therefore virtual dom is faster as compared to real dom this is the main difference between real dom and virtual dom uh, what is the difference between Control component and uncontrolled component? Uh, the difference between controlled and uncontrolled component uh, is like the uncontrolled component, the state and behaviors, it get managed by themselves. Whereas in controlled component, the state and behaviors, they are managed by the parent components. So that is the main difference between uncontrolled and controlled component. Uh, in an uncontrolled component, the HTML form data, it is managed by the DOM. Whereas in control component, state handles the form data. So these are the few differences between controlled and uncontrolled component. Okay. Uh, what is the principle of Redux? There are three principles. Changes are made with pure functions. Uh, read only. The state is read only. And the uh, third one is the single source of truth. So these are the three principles of Redux. Uh, can you tell me about React Router? So React Router, it helps us to define multiple routes in the application. It is uh, React Router, in short, what we, we can say is it is a standard library for routing in React. Okay, okay. Uh, just uh, write uh, one example of deep copy and one example of shell copy. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I will do this so, so I will create okay let me do with this C I, I will create an object and I will take name and age name Ankit and age 26 and uh, let me do with X Y Z equals to A B C. Okay, first I will do with the shallow copy, and and then I will go ahead with the deep copy. A B C dot name equals to uh ankit, and then console logo uh A B C. And also of XYZ 
here okay so uh, what i have done here is i have uh, so here i have done the shallow copy what it will do it will take the reference uh, both will have same memory location and the name here i am changing it in abc so it will also get reflected in xyz so let me do it uh, before shallow copy uh, abc and we can check uh, abc before shallow copy and we will see shallow copy after abc okay abc object before before shallow copy and abc object abc object after deep copy and uh, so okay let me do this with xyz xyz so xyz we are changing xyz name but it will also get reflect in abc object so let's check it out oh sorry yeah so see this this here it is a before shallow copy ankit but what we have done is we have updated the xyz object with the name aniket but it is also reflected in abc object after deep copy so so this is a shallow copy sorry so this is a shallow copy and now what we will do for deep copy is triple dot abc and let's check it out so here now we have updated the xyz dot name is equals to ankit but here the memory location they are not copied or uh, the data is being copied so therefore any reflect any change in xyz object it won't reflect in abc object so we can see abc object before and after shallow copy let's check it out see ankit h26 and uh, here there is no change but if we had deep copy then it would have been now this is a shallow copy see there will be a change so this is an example of uh, shallow copy and deep copy okay okay uh, what is the difference between map function and for each function for each function it will only modify the original array it won't return anything but it will modify the original array whereas map function it will return the new array with modification so that is the main difference between map function and for each function okay okay uh, what do you mean by event bubbling okay so uh, the event bubbling what it happens so there is a process what happens the event triggers on the innermost uh, element first and then successfully to its parent and then to its parent so on till the outermost dom element so that is nothing but a event bubbling Okay. Okay. What is uh, Redux middleware? Redux middleware. What it helps? As I said, it is uh, it is used to delay the dispatch of an action, or it will dispatch only if the condition is met. So th that is uh, the use of middleware. Okay. Uh, one last question. Can we explain what uh, the pure function in javascript with example uh, so the pure functions they are the functions for the same arguments passed it will result the same output so for example like uh, let me go with the console uh, okay i will do the addition of any two numbers okay so let me go with uh, sum a comma p and it will 
return a plus plus b so it will always uh, result 300 okay just give me second console log of sum okay so uh, see here uh, it will for the same arguments 100 to 100 if we pass any number of times uh, this argument it will result uh, always uh, the result will be 300 so that is nothing but a pure function and generally in pure function when it can arise when we want date dot now because it always gets changed or like uh, so th this is one of the examples uh, which I can think of of impure function so math dot random so for uh, suppose uh, there is a random value so for example like uh, if we put plus math dot random math dot random so see here so now this is 300.2 now let me again run it and this time here 300 point nine. so this is a kind of an impure function every time the value will get changed for the same arguments so uh, this is one of the example of impure function okay